Hi, welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. Well, today we're going to learn Lorena, and we're doing a little bit different today than a lot of my lessons. We're going to try to uh, see how this picture-in-picture -picture works. So the whole time I'm teaching, you can see close-ups of my right hand, and then a close-up of my left hand. So um, at any time, you can just look at either one and see exactly what I'm doing. So in theory, this lesson uh, may go by a little quicker, too. Um, okay, well, let's just check out that first phrase. And if you have your tab printed out, that's going to be measures one, two, three, four, and measure five. So we'll we'll do a big phrase here. It sounds like this. It starts on beat four of measure one. I'll play that a few times so you can get it in your head. Okay, so this song is in the key of G, it's in 4-4 time, and this first phrase, like I said, starts on beat 4, and you're doing an open first string there. So that first string open, and I just play that with my middle fingers, you can see. And then you're going to do this roll here, and that's on your 6th, 2nd, and 1st string. And what you do with that roll is you just take it, and just real quick, thumb, index, and middle finger. how it starts out. Okay, now a lot of these, um, what you're going to be playing, a lot of these rolls or whatever you want to call them, you're going to be playing your thumb on your sixth string and then your thumb on your fourth string. So that's what you see in measure one with this. And that's one, two, and three, and four. And, and it has a little swing to it too, so those eighth notes just aren't straight eighth notes. Okay, so that's do the roll on your first, second, and, or, sorry, sixth, second, and first string. And then you're going to play thumb on your sixth, then on your fourth, and then do middle finger on your third, I'm sorry, uh, index finger on your third string, and then middle finger on your first string. Just like that, and then thumb, thumb. And all that's open, so you're not really barring anything there. You just keep your bar off the string. So just get used, like I said, to playing that sixth string and skipping your fifth string and then playing your fourth string. Okay, then in measure three, that was measure two that I just showed you, in measure three in your tab, you have this. Okay, what you do there is you play two to zero on your first string. I have to play that with my middle finger. And then I play an open sixth string with my thumb there. And then I'm going to slide from seven to nine here on my first string. Hit my fourth string open. And my seventh, seventh fret first string there. Okay, there's measure three. And then in measure four, we have... That's a real neat lick. It's measure four in your tab, and you're going over that C chord, okay? So you're sliding into that C chord from your fourth fret to your fifth fret, and you're on your sixth, second, and first string there. You just want to grab that and slide into it from 4 to 5 on 6, 2, and 1. Those are your strings. And then you're going to play your 5th fret now on your 6th string, 4th string, 3rd string. And then when you get to that 1st string, play it. And then pull your bar back to get a nice pull-off. 